Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the use of new keyword in Java? Let me answer. New keyword in Java is used to create objects for classes. So if you want to create an object for a class in Java, we have to use a keyword in Java known as new keyword. So how to use this new keyword in Java for creating the objects for classes? In a practical way, I am going to show you right now. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and here create a new class. I'll just name this class as class uh, W. That's a random name I'm giving class W. Click on finish. Inside this class, I'm going to create some sample variables and methods int. Let's say price, then uh, double mileage, the sample variables, okay? So two to three variables I'll create, uh, spring model, okay? Like that some random three variables I created. Some methods also I'll create now, public void sample one method. Then here I'll write some sample code inside this uh, with the help of print statement inside sample one method okay similarly i'll create one more method public void sample two you can create any number of variables and any number of methods but uh, i'm creating three variables and two methods in this example for this particular class inside sample two method okay so this is a class containing some variables and methods generally a class in java will enclose variables and methods okay so now if i have to create an object for this particular class named as class w in this example how to use which keyword in Java? New keyword. So how to use a new keyword for creating an object for this particular class in Java? For that, I'll create one more class, okay? I'll create one more class. I'll just name this as demo w, just random name with the main method or whatever the method you can create this uh, class, that's okay. Now, you can see this class w containing some variables and methods. And here you can see a class containing some method. It can be main method or any method. Inside this method, Okay, if I have to create an object for this particular class, okay, for this particular class, if I have to create an object, I have to use a keyword known as new keyword, okay, followed by the name of the class for which I want to create an object. Class W is the name of the class. So new class W means new keyword will create an object for this particular class, okay. And after that, as per the syntax, I have to provide circular brackets and semicolon to close this. The moment I write this particular statement in the computer memory, okay, in the computer memory, like this computer memory in the computer memory, some memory will be allocated for the object. Okay, some memory will be allocated for the object. Let's say object one, some memory will be allocated. Fine. So, yeah. So, some memory got allocated, and this memory will have some memory address like you know, 10, 111, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, some memory address is there for this memory okay so can you remember this memory address tomorrow one more object gets created and uh, some memory will be reserved for that object also some different memory address will be there for the object like that many objects are there can you remember the memory addresses of each and every object like can you remember all the phone numbers of your uh, contacts that you have in your mobile phone what do you do in order to instead of remembering them you will name them whenever you get a new contact of any uh, you know customer or you know colleague or your uh, relative or friends or whatever it is you generally save them, okay, with some name. Here also, in order to refer to this uh, location of this uh, memory for which object, uh, some memory allocated to this particular object, we cannot remember the memory address, okay, to locate this object in the com computer memory. So what we do is we have to name this. That naming is known as object reference. So here in this case, I'll just say CW, okay, I'm just giving some random name. This, this is the name that we are giving to refer to this particular object, okay, where this object is located in the computer memory to refer to this memory address of that particular object created in the computer memory. We have to use this memory, uh, this object reference. We generally call this as object reference, okay, the naming uh, given to something that, that has address of the address or location of the memory that got allocated to the object in the computer memory, okay. So like this, okay, fine. They have to, and uh, here error is coming because we have to define it. We have to declare this. Uh, how to declare this with the same class name, okay? Whatever the class name for which you created object, right? With the same class name, we have to declare this object reference. So this forms a complete object creation statement, okay? In Java, 
using the new keyword we can create the object and uh, to refer to this object uh, we assign this object to the object reference and the object reference will refer to the memory location where the object actually is created in the computer memory and uh, that object reference need to be declared with the same class name okay fine now what is the use of this uh, why we have to create an object after creating an object once we once we create an object reference to refer to the memory location where the object is uh, uh, object memory is reserved in the memory computer memory right using this object reference we can access the members of this particular class these variables and members we can access now cw dot i can get the price okay you see i can access the price variable from that particular class by creating an object okay uh, let's say i'll give some price okay then cw dot uh, some mileage uh, let's say okay some mileage i gave cw dot uh, you see i can access a model variable of this particular class with the help of object okay so i'll give some model okay uh, some model i am giving and then uh, i have to call this uh, methods inside this another class for that also we need to use the object reference cw dot sample one uh, cw dot uh, sample two and so on okay so using which keyword we can create an object for uh, classes in java using the new keyword we can create the objects for classes in java so hope guys you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration what is the use of new keyword in java using the new keyword in java we can create objects for the classes in java okay so that's all for this session thank you bye bye